Hello, good day everyone. So this is another tutorial regarding the regarding the Deped Commons for students or getting started with Deped Commons for students. So this is a step-by-step -step tutorial for students in activating your Deped Commons account using your Office 365 account. So I understand that we have uh, another video for this, but uh, for those who have requested for uh, let us say or a slide by slide presentation that's why we are we have created this uh, another video for you so uh, the first thing that you need to do is for you to receive your deped official email account from your school information technology officers or your advisors maybe or your teachers in ICT so you should be receiving from them your official office 365 accounts so, for example, if your LRN is 6543-2198723, your email address or your Office 365 address should look something like this, 6543-2198723 at r8.depe.gov.ph since uh, this example, this is from Region 8. Now, if you are from Region 3 or Region, let's say Region 3, that should be R3 there, R3-1 or R3-2. Now, if you are also coming from other regions, for example, in Region 10, that should be in R10, depending on what region uh, do you belong. Okay, so those numbers there before that at symbol there is actually your uh, LRN or your learning learner resource uh, number. Tama ba? <laughs> okay, basta yun yung LRN yun. Uh, nasa LIS niyo po yan, yan yung inyong a unique number in LIS so and also make sure that you should you have already uh, set up naka set up na po working and activated po yung inyong office 365 accounts before going to the next step okay before going to the next step kaya I would advise for you to go first to my other video tutorial po kung paano iset up yung inyong mga Office 365 accounts sa mga first time pong gagamit ng kanilang mga Office 365 accounts. So uh, we have another video for that for those first time for those students or yeah for those students who 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 are trying to open their Office 365 accounts for the very first time. Okay? So make sure na gumagana po yan, uh, you, can use, you can go to your Office 365 dashboard before proceeding to the next step. Otherwise, you need, to, you need to set up first your Office 365 and maybe ask the help of your advisors or your teachers or, or your co-students na nakapag-set up na nila mga Office 365 accounts. So after that, you go to... HTT, the website of the DepEd Commons is commons.deped.gov.ph. So this is the landing page of the of the DepEd Commons. So dito sa part na to, dito po sa part na to, nandyan yung button na kailangan nyo i-click. And that is your activate your student account. So you need to click activate your student account na button. And then you will be redirected to this page. So dito... Uh, you're going to put here yung email address ninyo kanina, uh, that's the, your Office 365 account, LRN ninyo, at R8, for example, at r8.depa.gov.ph if you're coming from Region 8 or depending na po yan kung saan region kayo, yun po yung kasunod ng at na symbol na yun. So, at R8 or at R10, at R3-1, at then .depa.gov.ph. Again, ilalagay po ninyo dito yung inyong official na uh, Office 365 accounts ng mga students. And then, after this, you're going to click this Send Activation Instructions para magpadala yan ng activation instructions dun po sa email ninyo. Uh, yung email ninyo, uh, via Outlook po yan, magpapadala yan, makakareceive dapat kayo no, ng email coming from the DepEd uh, Commons na mailer. Okay? Nagkakaroon ng problema kasi... Supposedly, naka-preload na yung mga accounts ninyo, uh, pero may mga cases tayo na as of August 7, hindi pa kayo officially enrolled. Noong August 7, 2020, hindi pa kayo officially enrolled sa LIS ng inyong mga kanya-kanyang schools. Uh, meron ding chance na baka nasa ibang school ka pa naka-enroll, then after August 7, uh, you have uh, decided to transfer to another school. 
that's why hindi pa po makita yung account niyo preloaded in the in the what do you call this DepEd Commons database. Kaya yung iba nagkakaroon ng ganitong klasing uh, nagkakaroon ng ganitong klasing error, no? So sabi agad for email not found error. So nagkakaroon ng email not found error. So kapag nagkakaroon po ng email not found error, you are going to go to this link. Yung link po na yan, uh, that's HTTPS. Dapat po correct spelling, uh, correct spelling, tapos correct yung walang spacing po yan, wala pong space yan. Kung double slash dito, dapat double, spla, double slash. So the link there is HTTPS colon double forward slash uploads that entelemena.com slash students slash confirmation slash new. Okay? Punta po kayo doon, tapos enter your email or that's your Office 365 account. Then again, click the send activation instructions na button, yung sa previous natin kanina. And then check your email. So yung email ninyo, go to www.outlook.com and then you need to log in with your Office 365 account. So, yung the same pa rin yan na account, you need to log in with your Office 365 account. Okay? Tapos, para makapag-proceed kayo, dun nga sa sinasabi ko kanina, may magpapadala ng DepEd email, yung check your Outlook account or your DepEd email account, tapos dapat may nagpadala dun na yung subject is DepEd Commons Student Account Activation. Yan yung subject ng email. Dep Ed Common Student Account Activation. Tapos, for security purposes, for security purposes daw, kindly ensure that the email was sent, yung sender dapat ng email ay si Dep Ed Commons Mailer. Okay? Yung sender dapat ng email ay si Dep Ed Commons Mailer. Other than that, mag, wag, i-delete na lang po natin yung email kasi baka phishing yan or spam na message or na email coming from unauthorized uh, sender. So, check po natin muna na yung sender ay si DepEd Commons mailer. Tapos, yung subject niya is DepEd Commons Student Account Activation. Parang ganito po yung makikita ninyong uh, email ninyo dun sa na pinadala ng DepEd Commons. Tapos, pansinin po ninyo yung, yung part na to. Yung meron pong LRN num, yung, LR, yung email ninyo Tapos katabi niya, meron siyang click on this link, yung blue na color. Okay? Kasi yan po yung i-click nyo uh, after. So on your uh, on your received email, click the appropriate link to start activating your DepEd Commons student account. So may link po dyan, ito yun. After your Office, 3, I mean Office 365 account dito, to activate, blah, 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 click on this link. So kapag sinabing click on this link, wag, na, wag ka na pong maghanap kung nasaan yung sinasabi niyang link. Yung click on this link mismo na word, yan po yung meron pong hyperlink para po ma-divert ka po, ma-redirect ka dun sa sinasabi niyang uh, kailangan mong ma-update na password para ma-set up daw yung password mo. And then you can, up, you can proceed to update your profile. Okay? Now, after clicking that link, you will be redirected to a page where you can change your password and it should contain at least eight characters, yung password po ninyo. Eight or more, ha? kasi at least nga, di ba? Then, when done, click the button that says change my password. So, dun po sa change my password na uh, ito yung uh, dialog box na to, kailangan mong mag-change ng password dun sa DepEd Commons account mo. Hindi po necessarily na yung DepEd Commons account mo at yung password mo sa Office 365 account ay magkapareho. Okay? Hindi po ibig sabihin na dahil sa nag-change password ka dito, mati-change din yung password ng, ng iyong Office 365 account. Ulitin ko po yun kasi kadalasan yan po yung maling uh, perception na natatanggap namin. Na kapag nag-change daw sila ng password dito sa Deped Commons, yung iniisip ng iba, nati-change din yung password nila dun sa Office 365. Hindi po. Magkaiba po yung password talaga ng Office 365 account ninyo tsaka yung password na gagawin ninyo dito ngayon sa DepEd Commons. Hindi po necessary link pareho sila. Pero kung gusto nyo namang magpareho lang, gawin yung pareho yung password mo sa Office 365, 
yun na rin yung gamitin mo dito sa Deped Commons. But we are not advising that kind of setup. Kasi kung sakaling may mangyaring masama, like for example, na-hack yung account ninyo sa Office 365, eh automatic na rin pong ma-hack yung account na yun in your Deped Commons. Kasi nga, pareho naman yung account, yung password credentials na ginagamit mo. Okay? So just type the password in the first box dito. Kung ano yung password, tandaan at least 8 characters. Kung ano yung tinype mo dito sa first box, dapat ganun din yung itatype mo dito sa second box dito sa password confirmation. So, kung, kung, kung anong ginawa mong capitalization, ganun dapat yun. Kung, kung may number, may spacing, dapat parehong-pareho dito sa first box, yung ilalagay mo dito sa second box. Okay? And then, you're going now to click this change my password na button dito sa side na to. Okay? Yung may blue na button. So, after clicking the change my password button, you will be now redirected to another uh, dialog box or para siyang uh, another parang entry boxes no, na you are now going to update your profile dito. So, umihingi na siya ng uh, first name mo, yung middle name mo, yung last name, tapos yung inyong active na contact number. Make sure na active po yung inyong mobile number na ilalagay. Kasi yan yung pagbabasihan po ni DepEd sa pagbibigay ng uh, let's say, libreng uh, data allowance for internet uh, soon. O yan, no? soon. Kasi yung ginawa ng DepEd for, for teachers, eh. yan yung gagawin ng DepEd for teachers. So feeling ko yan din yung gagawin for students na nire-register yung number ninyo para for the free data allowance for the internet or kung hindi naman kaya, malibri po yung charge sa paggamit ninyo ng Deped Commons uh, sa kahit saang uh, service provider ka man yung inyong mobile number na naka-register. Doon nga lang sa mobile number na na-register po ninyo. Then, pinatanong din dyan kung anong grade ka, anong section, tapos ano yung pangalan ng advisor mo. Para matag ka kung saang teachers ka, uh, ginagamit yan ng Deped yata sa plano nila for the learning management system na gagawin sa buong Pilipinas. Okay? So, after mong ma-update yung profile mo, click the update at the bottom of the page to save your changes. Huwag po ninyong kakalimutang i-click yung update na button dyan sa baba para po ma-save yung changes or yung ginawa mong pag-update ng inyong pangalan at ng password. Okay? Kasi kung hindi nyo po yung gagawin, para ka lang pong walang may ginawa. Kumbaga, Sinayang mo lang yung pagkakataon. <laughs> okay, so tandaan po natin, click the update button po dyan sa baba. So after po nito, so after po ng, ng, ng button na yan, uh, yun na, tapos na, no? tapos na siya. Yun na yung gagawin mong, uh, yun na yung gagawin mong username tsaka password. Yung ginawa mong username tsaka, I mean, yung password na ginawa mo kanina, yan na yung gagamitin mo dun sa Deped Commons account mo. Now, you may start viewing the different materials na nandyan sa uh, Deped Commons. May mga tutorials dyan, may mga uh, reading materials, may mga videos and all. Okay? So, tandaan lang po na hindi po necessarily pareho yung inyong Office 365 login credentials at ng Deped Commons login credentials nyo. Options nyo po siya. Option nyo lang yan kung gagawin mong magkatulad yung password ng Office 365, ganun din yung gagamitin mo dun sa pag-update mo ng password in the DepEd Commons. So, I hope that uh, I have helped you with this uh, another video. no So, uh, thank you so much and good day. Bye-bye!